Trump presidency, President Trump is on his way to Texas and will visit the border as he continues to make his pitch for a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. The trip comes as the partial government shutdown is in its 20th day. CBS 4's Nicole Killian is live in Washington, D.C. with the latest. Nicole. Well, good afternoon to you, Maribel. And President Trump is due to land in Texas in the next hour, where he will take part in a roundtable discussion and a briefing on border security. But before he left, he told reporters the only way to end this shutdown is if there's a compromise or he declares a national emergency. President Trump is headed to Texas to visit the U.S. Mexico border and highlight why he wants to build a wall. If we have the wall, we could have far fewer people working in terms of border security and doing an even better job. The president says he wants Congress to approve funds for the wall, but if lawmakers won't, he'll declare a national emergency and use money from the military to build it. I haven't done it yet. I may do it. If this doesn't work out, probably I will do it. I would almost say definitely. A deal with Congress doesn't appear likely anytime soon. The president wants $5.7 billion for the wall. Democrats say they won't support it. There's a better way, a more effective way uh, to protect, to, to secure our borders. And that is what the debate should be about. Some GOP senators say they want to see government reopen first and then deal with border security. There is a, a group of, of like-minded senators that are gathering to, to see if we can offer up some helpful suggestions. The House continues to vote on separate bills to reopen closed government on agencies bill, one by one. And at this hour, Vice President Mike Pence is on Capitol Hill where he met with lawmakers and federal workers are rallying across the country demanding an end to the shutdown. One of those taking place just outside of these gates here at the White House. Live at the White House this noon, Nicole Killian, CBS 4 News.